Hi. In this video, we're going to do a crash course on vintage Marshall cabs. You know, cabs in the late 60s and early 70s and, and all the way up to the early 1980s. Uh, in the video description, you, ha you have time tags. So you can, well, are, are you interested in 12 inch, 10 inch, 15 inch or, you know, big cabs, small cabs? Go there and, and, and find the cabs you're interested in or, or watch the entire entire video. All right, let's go. So first, let's uh, compare the three types of uh, Celestian greenbacks uh, that were used in the late 60s and early 70s. Now this is going to be four, four speakers. The fourth one is the one they put in orange and Leibniz. Uh, you're going to hear that that one is uh, way too bright in this Marshall 112 we're comparing it in. Let's check it out. So you can have that as a reference when we check out the cabs. We're mostly going to use the uh, the G12M 2575 Hz and the G12H uh, 3055 Hz in, in most uh, clips here. Now let's check out the three principal 4x12s Marshall had in the early 70s, late 60s, namely the 1960, 1935 and 1982. Let's check it out. So here you can hear that uh, the 1982 is a bit colder sounding than the other two and a bit more scooped. Uh, the, the top end is a bit more cis, sizzle in, in it and, and uh, the uh, 1960 is the brightest but it also is a bit more boxy. It has more of the uh, of the low end. Uh, 1935 is, is kind of like a mix between those two. 1982 is the punchiest one because it has the big magnet and, and the other two are... are have the uh, medium magnet. So, so those were so those were slanted A cabs. Now let's ch check out uh, a 1982B versus a 1960B because that's that's kind of the most two most common cabs. You know, the 1935 is the is the base cab. Let's check it out. <laughs> Here you can see that the uh, the 1960 with the G12 M's is, is uh, you know, warmer but less punchy. It is kind of, kind of the uh, the top end is a bit lower than the, uh, uh, the the 1982 G12 H, so it has a brighter top end and more bass. But but the G12 M has more going on in the presence area and, and in the lower mids, so that's kind of the uh, quintessential Marshall tone. But but for hard rock later on, G12 H and, and 1982 was was more popular. Now let's very briefly put them in the mix as well, so you can hear how, how they sound with drums and, and, and multiple guitars. So here you can hear that the 1982 is a bit more rougher sounding. More hard rock and g m is, is more rock and roll. Uh, you can use both for both, of course. Now let's check out the three slanted cabs for Strat as well. You know, 1960, 1935 and 1982. I just love uh, Strat with the, the bass cabs, you know, 1935. Sound, sound, sounded the best to me with, with Strat here. So, so, so far, three, three, uh, four by twelves here. Sa same geometry, but, but uh, different speakers in them. Now, I bet you, you've seen the Henrik stack, that the bottom cab is a bit taller. So it's uh, 1960 tall or 1982 tall. We're going to check out the 1960 tall here. 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pl first play 1960 as a reference so we can check it out. <laughs> So I, I don't think it, it necessarily sounds bigger, just just box here. Uh, I, I'm very used to, to mixing the standard four by twelve sizes, so, so so maybe the maybe I didn't manage to uh, to mic the tall uh, tall one properly because it, it just sounds more boxy to me here. Then Marshall had two four by twelves that were in the same format as as the uh, eight by tens. Maybe you've seen the eight by ten. It, it's it's kind of a narrower but but higher cab. Um, and instead of eight tens, these four four twelves ha has uh, speakers like this, and the twenty thirty two model twenty thirty two has four J twelve M twenty five seventy five R speakers. So let's check that out now. First the four by twelve as a reference, and then and then the uh, the uh, twenty thirty two. <laughs> That was the uh, 2032. They also had the 2033. It's uh, was also a 8 by 10 size, but th this one is as, as wide as the uh, as the big box, as the super lead instead. Uh, and this one has uh, G12H 3055 hertz greenbacks, and it's also positioned like this to, to fit them in the narrower, narrower but higher box. Let's check it out. <laughs> I think these have a really cool, both the 2032 and 2033, really cool nasal uh, honky quality to them. Uh, really special cabs. You know, in the beginning I showed you the three types of, of greenbacks that is mostly used in in the Marshall cabs in the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, there's a link in the video description to uh, to the entire crash course. Uh, the way I also go through the rest of the 70s, you know, uh, uh, creambacks and blackbacks and all, all types of combinations you can have there. But now we're going to check out the speaker that was used before greenbacks, the Olnico T652 uh, Olnico speakers. So first a reference again with, with the 4x12 with G12Ms and, and then the uh, Alnicos in the 4x12. Let's go. Then in the uh, 1980s, the uh, first successor to the uh, Greenback, G12 and Greenback, was the G1265. Uh, so let's check out how they differ as well, because uh, that's what they had until 1983-84. Uh, so let's check out how they compare as well. <laughs> You can note that they, they, they sound pretty uh, pretty different, showcased, but in the mix the, the, I, I can hardly uh, tell them apart. But uh, the strong sides here for, for the both speakers to me is, is that the greenback is warmer and it has a kind of more detailed sizzle on top, whereas the G265 uh, has a tighter base and, and more presence. Uh, so so they, they are really complement each other really well. And of course, we did check out the the wall as well. Let's go. All right. 
Now let's move on to uh, two by twelve cabinets instead. Uh, in the late sixties and, and early seventies, you had the uh, nineteen seventy two model nineteen seventy two uh, two by twelve. It had the same height as a four by twelve, and the same width as as a small box. You know, a fifty water, uh, and it, it was not as deep as a as a four by twelve. Uh, I'm going to show it to you in, in in a couple of seconds here. I'm going to compare it to a, to a 4 by 12. Then in the 70s, there, there were a couple of others. Uh, 2045, for instance, which must be the forerunner to the more famous 1936 that came in 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 the early 80s. And I think there was some some cab called 2042 as well. And there was some some of those were ported in in some way. Uh, I'm I'm showing you links in the video description to some. Marshall catalogs, so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, then, then uh, late, later on, you of course you had the uh, 1936 cab with JSM 800 and JSM 900. Uh, those those actually had the plywood back uh, all the way as as long it uh, as it didn't say 1936 on on in the bottom left hand corner. If it said JSM 800 or JSM 900, it was actually a plywood on those. So so really. Really, uh, bang for the buck cabs, I think. Um, and then you have the 1922, which is more compact, um, uh, two by twelve. But it's not it's not a vintage cab. It's more more of a modern cab. Then in the 80s, you also had the uh, 1961, which which is which is a four by twelve size cab, but it has only two holes in diagonal like this. Uh, and 1966, which is the the same size as as the uh, 1980s 4x10, you know the 1965. Now let's check out the 1972 cab here. It's one of my favorite cabs. <laughs> So you can hear that it's. Uh, I think I think it has lot, lot, lots of the uh, four by twelve uh, qualities, but but it's a, it's much brighter than the four by twelve. Then if we check out one twelve extension cabinets, uh, they're much more unusual. Uh, the one I use is the nineteen thirty three. It, it it came in the early early eighties as a, you know same size as as the uh, forty ten and the other JSM eight hundred combos. It has a plywood back and. It's, it sounds just great. I think it colors the sound very, very little. Uh, in the eighties, you you also had a, a cab called nineteen thirty one. Don't know if if it was with the artist series or or uh, or something like that. And you of course have the nineteen twelve, but but it's more of a modern cab. You know, with the hundred fifty watt G twelve B hundred and fifty. I think it's called Celestion in it. When it comes to the JMP era, you know, 60s, 70s, I, I haven't managed to find that any 112 cabinets more than uh, uh, later in the video. I'm going to show you 115, 2054 cab, which which looks like a, some PA arrangement. Uh, I, I think there is a 112 version called 2064 as well. But I haven't, uh, which looks exactly the same, just just a 12 mounted in it. But let's check out the 1933 cab now, my, my favorite. Uh, we're going to play it with the uh, G of H thirty fifty five hertz screen back. <laughs> I really love the uh, sparkly, bright quality that this uh, green back has uh, in in these cabs. Uh, cuts like. Nothing else through a, through a mix. All right. Now let's check out cabs with 10-inch speakers in them instead. The most famous one is probably the 1990, model 1990, 8x10 cab. That's the one with the width of, of a small box. And the one with the width of a big box is the 2034. Uh, then you have a cab called 2038, which is actually a, looks exactly like a 4x12, but it has 10-inch uh, speakers in them. And the 10 speakers we're talking about here is, is the 7442 Celestians. And then, of course, you have the uh, 1965, model 1965 B and A cabs. And these are also in the 3005 Lead 12 mini stack. 
But first, start off with uh, checking out the uh, 1965 Bay here. Let's go. <laughs> Right, let's let's also uh, put it in a mix. So first, you're going to hear a mix with the with the G12 M2575 hertz greenbacks, and then we're going to add a, a stack of of uh, 1965 A and B on it. So you see how they compare. <laughs> They fit very well together. And now let's check out the 1990, you know, the, 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 the small box 810, which is probably the most classic of, of, the, of these. <laughs> I've always thought that this one sounds a bit boxy and brittle, but, but most people love it for, for some reason. And let's also check out the, uh, the, the, the Lead 12 mini stack. This one has the 25 watt 10 inch speakers. The uh, 1965 cabs had the uh, 35 watters. <laughs> If you record this one right, it actually sounds uh, really good, uh, but in the room it's, it sounds sounds pretty small. All right, now let's check out cabs with 15-inch speakers in them. Yeah, I'm often using a 1979A from 1972 here on the channel. Uh, that's a 4x15. Uh, there was actually another 4x15, which was uh, bigger. It was called the 1984. L later, the 1984 was, was used in, in, in 4x12s for bass. But this this was a, a big high four four by fifteen, with, with the speakers uh, kind of uh, like this, whereas the four uh, four by fifteen the nineteen seventy nine that I have is is exactly the same configuration as a four twelve, but just bigger. Uh, we're going to check out the nineteen seventy nine. You're just just in a couple of seconds here. Then we go after that we're going to check out the twenty fifty four, which is a one fifteen kind of a space spacey cab, and. Uh, it has a bunch of other variations in the same series, but those are pretty rare. Then in the 1980s, you have the JSM 800 base cabs called 1551, which have two, two times 15 in them. I don't know if it's power cell or sidewinder or, or what they put in those. There is a couple of other 15-inch cabs as well, but let's check out the 1979 now. First, the 4x12 as a reference. So the weird thing, I, I, I think, I think the four by twelve sounds bigger. There's probably a reason why, why it's it's the uh, kind of most used. I mean the benchmark cab. Uh, I, I I do think it's a bit harder to record the uh, the four by fifteen though. You usually end up just just having overtones to, to capture the fundamentals. You have to be really really careful. In in this in this case, I I thought the uh, the four by twelve sounded bigger. Let's check out this other comparison also, where I compare the 4x15 to a bunch of other cabs.
there I, I thought I captured the bigness of it a lot better. And now let's have a look at the uh, 2054, which is a really, really unusual cab. It's not the greenback in this one. It's a 15 inch D130F JBL in it. I think it came with 15 inch power cell Celestians actually. <laughs> Then in the late 60s, Marshall uh, made, made a bunch of, of uh, PA arrangements. Uh, I'm going to show you three of those now. Two uh, big columns with, with the, each 4x12 with G12M speakers in them. And that's the model 1969. And you have two, two smaller, which is only 2x12, also G12M. That one is called 1983. And you, then you have an even brighter and smaller, and that's the 1991. And that's two 4x10 columns instead. Let's check it out. I think these can sound cool as a compliment to uh, to uh, four by twelves and, and other speakers, but, but they're, they're sound a bit boxy, boxy to me. And finally, in, in the late sixties, early seventies, Marshall also had an eighteen inch bass cab called uh, nineteen eighty eight. Uh, let's check it out. <laughs> So this has the G18C uh, speaker, I think it's called. I think this example may have seen better days. I have some other videos of, of the Marshall 18 inches. You can see in the video description, so check those out as well. Uh, they're actually cool speakers. So this is by no means a comprehensive crash course, uh, but, but this, is, this is the speakers that I have uh, shown the most interest in and I have gotten the most use out of. Uh, let me know which speakers did you think were missing here and and, and this is of course only un until the early 1980s and then you have lots of cool speakers after that as well but that i have to leave that for another video all right cheers <laughs>